resides in two worlds with companion traveled. Bargain with the ruler of the dead, a loss too great to bear, a great battle to witness. Only then will lovers be reunited again. Welcome again to the Untold Odysseys, the story of Eureka, Episode 2, Woman of Two Worlds. <sighs> How can a goddess be so boring? For the goddess of rainbows, your language is not that colorful. Oh, I will give you some colorful language. <laughs> That's more like it. I like spicy iris. What does that even mean? Oh, never mind. We last left off with Eureka finding her lover, Ambrosine, burned to a crisp. She is now on a journey to discover the truth. The oracle gave her some mystic-sounding poem, and now Eureka is going to find Persephone. Even though we both travel between worlds, but whatever. Was your pride hurt? No. All right. So all the legends point to Persephone living in a patch of her favorite flowers. So if I can find the flower patch, I can find Persephone. These are the right flowers, but where is she? Welcome to the land of eternal spring. What brings you here, my child? My love was murdered at the hearth of Hephaestus, but I have doubts that it was the god himself. They were very special to me, and I need to find who hurt them. I went to the oracle, and she led me to you. If you cared so much about them, then why are you hiding their identity? I am not hiding anything. When you speak of the oracle, you say she. When you talk of Hephaestus, you say he. But when you speak of the person you love, you say they. Are you ashamed of who you are? You do understand that no blossom is the same. They may all point towards Helios, but they are made of different leaves and different roots. I assumed you would be like the others. I am a woman, therefore I am not supposed to love another woman. My child, all the flowers in the world are beautiful. You are not excluded, my little Blossom. You are the only one who has, who has accepted that about me. I love all my Blossoms. Now how can I help you, my child? I, I, I'm not sure. Well, the Oracle would have given you a prophecy. Am I correct? Yes, of course. Think back, and maybe it tells you what you need from me. Go forth to she who resides in two worlds with companion traveled. Bargain with the ruler of the dead, a loss too great to bear, a great battle to witness. Only then will lovers be reunited again. Well, the next part, after I'm supposed to find you, talks about a travel companion of sorts. I'm also supposed to bargain with Hades, I think. Well, I can definitely help. Let's get you a satyr. No, too cliché. What about a harp? No, too murdery. How about a phoenix? Less fire, please. Oh, I mean, I meant to say nymph. In fact, let us get a nymph. A tree nymph. They are my favorite. Dentra, can you please come here? Hi! What can I do for you, my queen? I mean, you're more the queen of flowers, but... Trees are kind of like big flowers that take years and years and- Oh no, not her! Why Dentra? Persephone does realize she messes everything up, right? She could have chosen one of my sisters over her. She did have a point about them being a little too murdery, though. You are correct, which I am surprised by. Okay, let us calm down and pay attention. I need you to help Eureka here. Okay, Mom. Hi, Euro. Is she actually... No. Anyways, we have to travel to the world of Hades, which is not that difficult for me and should not be that difficult for you, as long as you stick with me. I do not like the world of Hades. There are no trees and no grass, and everyone seems so miserable there. Also, what is going to happen to my tree while I'm gone? I will take care of it. Now, let us begin our journey. We are going to have so much fun together. We're going to become friends. This story is going to become a lot more annoying. Does that mean you will leave? Honey, I'm way more invested than you think. Plus, it means I get to spend time with you. Oh, joy. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday at 12.15 and 4.45... 
or go to theaterofthemindcompany.webs.com. Theater is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Untold Odysseys, The Story of Eureka.